Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. It's a Happy Day is a weekly devotional designed to inspire believers to find and walk in the joy of the Lord despite life's challenges. Get ready to explore relevant themes that challenge the mundane and the status quo of Christian life. Each devotional will include a time of storytelling, scripture explanation, and obedience points. So join me and others from around the world every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for It Is A Happy Day. God bless you, family. I want to thank you for joining me for another day of It's A Happy Day. Listen, I appreciate all of the comments and the emails, the love that you show. It's just, it really, it really touches me. And I just want to say thank you for all of your support. And um, as we pivot into our devotional for today, um, we're going to be looking at Romans chapter 8. And the subject is follow the leader. Follow the leader. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, I want you to see this scripture, which is a very important scripture. Romans chapter 8, verse 14, it says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Uh, I, I think it's a privilege and an honor to be called a child of God. That's, that's actually our real title, that we are children of the Most High God. And here in Romans chapter 8, the Apostle Paul develops this, this, this blessing even further. And um, before I dive into that, I want to tell a funny story. You know, we have a small dog. His name is Apollo. And every time we put Apollo on the leash, Apollo wants to run ahead of us. So if you open that door, Apollo, boom, he's gone. And I could hear my daughter and my son, Apollo, Apollo, he wants to lead. But I'm like, bro, you own the leash. You understand? Like, I'm the leader. And I, I want you to think about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have to let him know. So every now and again, I have to get me some treats. And I say, Apollo, sit. And then I show him the treat. And, of course, the dog can smell the, the bad boy. So the dog sit down. And I then get him a little treat. And then what I do is I don't give him a whole lot of leash. I get a little, a little short leash. And then I lead him. This is what the Apostle Paul, um, the analogy that he uses in Romans 8 and 14 when he says, as many as are led. The word led there in the Greek word has to do with like an animal that is on a leash. But once the leash gets on, the animal, the animal willfully submits to the direction. This is not a force like I'm, I'm forcing Apollo. He's running around. I mean, this dog chases leaves. You understand what I'm saying? So the wind's blowing. He's, at, he's, he's going crazy. And that's how some of God's people are. We chase everything instead of willfully submitting to the leading of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Matter of fact, Jesus said over in the latter part of John, he said, I'm going to send you the comforter. And, and, and when he, the Holy Spirit, the comforter comes, he will lead you into all truth. And righteousness, which means in this world of great duality and ambiguity, that there is truth, that there is truth and that there is a right standard. And so when we allow the Holy Spirit willfully lean into the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit, we find ourselves, like David said, the, the psalmist said, in green pastures. We find ourselves in blessed places. But the, but the irony of that word led is that if you flip it over on the other side, it is where we, where we get our English word agony. And so it's funny here that, you know, in Romans 8, 14, it suggests also that when we do not allow the Holy Spirit to lead and we don't follow the leader, then it, what happens is we find ourselves in great agony, despair, confusion. We find ourselves angry. We find our, ourselves broke down on the side of the road, not knowing what happened in our lives because we haven't been following the leader. You know how hard it is for the human spirit to submit to anything other than pleasure. But guess what? We have been given a, the divine nature. We've been given the ability to partake in his divine nature through his divine presence. So I want to just challenge you today. I want to ask you to lean into those areas that you've not submitted, that you, you've not really allowed the Holy Spirit to lead. I mean, really, really think about it. 
And I want you and I to lean into that and say, Holy Spirit, I pray today is Holy Spirit, lead me, guide me. I don't have the answers. I don't know where I'm going. But I know that if I submit willfully in my heart to your leadership, you are going to lead me into every blessing. You're going to lead me into my purpose. And so, Holy Spirit, thank you today as we allow you to lead us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, and I'll see you on another day of It's a Happy Day.